Hello and good morning. I am Andrea with Happy Cloud Creations and I'm jumping on because it's the first week of the Orchard in Bloom quilt along. I've got Facebook and Instagram trying to go at the same time so hopefully my internet holds out and I can do this really quick. Um, so the first week we're just picking our fabrics and grabbing our pattern. The pattern will be 20% off through next Tuesday. Um, it is a very um, easy pattern, I think. I feel like it goes together pretty quick. So that's why we're gonna do a really quick quilt along. I think what, it's five, six weeks long. Um, this week is picking, our pa uh, picking up the pattern and picking our fabrics. Next week is cutting our pieces. Then we're doing our corner units. Then we're doing our diamond and rectangle units. We're putting our quilt top together and then we're just finishing our quilt. Um, I'll be making the lap size, which is a 12 block quilt. So basically the bigger the quilt you want, the more blocks you would do. So if you want to make less blocks, but a bigger quilt, you could always add sashing in between the blocks or you could put a border around your um, quilt as well to make it a little bigger. Um, if you haven't seen the quilt, it's this one. It's in my feed right now. Um, some people had a bit of a question of the fabric requirements. Um, you can either do it in the four main color combo, which is kind of like the back diagram. And that would be if you wanted every single block to look the same, right? Um, but if you want it to be scrappy, kind of like the front cover version, this one, I used fat quarters for this one with the background fabric. So I used a Swiss dot aqua for the background. Um, you would use the scrappy using fat quarter version and um it's basically total amount of fat quarters so each block basically is one fat quarter so if you're doing the baby it'd be nine fat quarters plus background fabric um lap would be 12 fat quarters plus background fabric um and so on and so on so 20 for throw 30 for fat uh for full 42 for queen or 49 for king. So if you're like, whoa, that's a lot of fat quarters, you could also add the fat quarters together and make it a half yard cut instead. Um, which, you know, two fat quarters equal one half yard cut. So that's why I put six half yard cuts, 10 half yard cuts, 15. Um, when it gets to the king size, you could even add those together and make it a yard cut each. Um, if you want it a little scrappy, but you can't find that many different color fabrics. Um, and then super duper scrappy is basically every single block is totally different. The um, background fabric could be totally different and every single inside would be different as well. <coughs> um, I'm using my water cup to hold my phone up. Um, and then these are just some suggested options. So with my next one, I'm not sure if I might go with this color option layout. It's a little different. Um, we'll see. So these are my fabrics. I'm using a Swiss dot, um, it's a blue kind of aqua with white dots for the background. And then, because originally, let's see. Originally I had, or I bought all these fabrics to make a bundle. I actually sold a bundle of these, but it had a blue fabric with it. And um, since I have a couple light colored florals in here, like this one. I didn't want a white background to kind of wash them out. So I thought this blue would go, go good. So there was a light blue in this bundle that I bought. So I took that out and I ordered this one to replace it. That way I would have six florals and six kind of solid, not solids um, to go with it. So I hope this looks good together. I. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna stick with two colors and the background fabric per block or if I'm gonna do it totally scrappy. I think once I start making the corner units, so I like to make corner units and then diamond and square units and then finish the block. Some people like to make one block at a time. So I might do the corner units, match those two colors up and then go from there if I wanna do stick to two colors in the background or if I wanna do totally scrappy, we'll see. Um, 
there's any questions, you can leave a comment on this video because I know a lot of people weren't expecting me to jump on right now. I wasn't quite sure what time I'd be able to jump on. So um, if there's any questions, let me know. The pattern is 20% off through next Tuesday. And next week we start cutting fabric. You can work at your own pace. Um, uh, just share your progress pictures either in the Facebook Quilt Along group or on Instagram. You can use the hashtag Orchard in Bloom QAL. Uh, I'd love to see your progress and all the fabrics you are picking. Um, so if you want to do like cut one block at a time and make that block, um, I would like take the block amount and divide it by four and try to get that many done per week. That way um, you could try to get done quickly and then you can use it before fall and winter. So I hope you guys have a great day. If there's any questions, you're going to also email me at happycloudcreations at gmail.com. And I'm going to sign up. Goodbye.